What's a Prius motor worth? Oh, we're gonna try not to blow it up. And that'll be $3,000. Something about a Huracan that's never running. <laughs> Merch is officially live with lovesupply.com. Thank you guys for all of your love and support. Go and cop it before it sells out. These are so sick. Also, <laughs> I thought I made it very clear. The pistons were in fine condition. There were zero signs of detonation. In this episode, we take the heads off so we can show you it is not what we thought it was. It had nothing to do with tuning. The piggyback isn't a new thing to do with newer cars. We were able to pull timing, add fuel, etc. We just like to push our builds a little bit further than most. So I hope you enjoy this episode. We were supposed to work on this today, but now we're working on this today. <laughs> what is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. So yes, Yesterday, something may or may not have happened with the C8. We stuck a borescope inside and saw that we cracked a piston. So we have some fun plans in the work. We were already planning on rebuilding her and making her stronger. And I'm excited to share more of that later. But first thing is first, we're going to pull the engine, more like drop the engine, pull off some heads, take a look inside, see how she looks. It is bid at a 24 hour job if you go to the dealership to have this engine drop. So let's see if we can do it in six. Right. We're gonna start by removing the turbos. We have some little lift plates for the actual lift locations under the C8. On the way, they'll be here soon. So we're gonna take off the turbos in the meantime. I think we just have to drop this like K rail as like a whole assembly and bring it down. This will be fun. Right. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna start just tackling this because we have a lot of like hands-on work to do today. So bear with us, we'll check in in a few. Also, I already told GM what happened and they are super supportive of everything that is going on. They could have not been more helpful about trying to provide us information about the LT2 platform so we can go ahead and start getting pistons and rods and all that built. So thank you again, GM, you guys are awesome. Move this from here, this from here, and unbolt the axle. And then unbolt this brake line, and then this all hovers up with the car. So one of our friends over at the dealership printed out an engine replacement guide. So we're kind of using this as a little bit of guide to make sure we don't miss any steps. I don't want to jinx anything, but it doesn't seem like a 24 hour job. No, that's just to get the K-member out. We still have to remove the engine from the K-member. It definitely looks cool with all the paneling off, that's for sure. Super race car. I'm pretty sure this is a laundry basket. Well, let's one. use it for coolant. Oh, oh. it's pressurized. <laughs> wow, that is gonna make a mess. <laughs> You're missing the laundry basket. A laundry basket full of coolant. Now we're gonna clean the floors with detergent. It works. <laughs> it so works. It's the best floor cleaner ever. Sandy's been talking about this for a while. And I believe you. Usually you use powder, but whatever. <laughs> this looks like jello. On the plus side, it smells really good. Sandy's over on this side just cussing up a storm right now. It's just like, you know, why wouldn't they put the plugs in like an easy place to get to or everything unplugs or it's real easy. Like on most of the Ford stuff, you just unplug like six plugs and boom, the cab's off, the motor's out. So they make it extra easy to work on. Yes. You kind of need that when you're on the side of the road. <laughs> okay, so we've spent just about all day disconnecting vacuum lines, coolant lines, uh, brake lines, basically all lines, some of the harness as well as some of the suspension, and we are almost there to drop it. Everything you see here isn't connect to the chassis, it's all motors. Once we slip this axle out, we should be able to lower her. Now we don't have a table like what it says to do, so we'll probably just lower it on the lift, put some jack stands under it, and then lift it up and hopefully the engine stays below. Below it. Pull the motor. Cool in three, S zero. Now this is still in shock that you're actually doing this right now. I, uh, I, I think it's a prank. She stared gotcha. at me once I told her, I was like, 
Wait, you're serious? Like, I, you're just pranking people, right? Yeah, just kidding, put it all back, we got you. <laughs> Smart people would have pulled it and built it before it blew up. But that's no fun. You gotta find its limits, you know? It's a hard job, but somebody's gotta do it. We're literally talking to the girl who cuts Lamborghini, McLaren, and supercar fenders to make wide body kits on them. This is different, Amelia. This car's dying inside. <laughs> you literally had a heart attack. Oh my God, there's blood everywhere. You guys think the head's damaged? Yes. Really? Beyond repair or just scuffed? I think it's pitted. I think we're gonna open it up, turns out everything was perfectly fine and there was like- And there wasn't actually a crack piston, a it was just a joke from AGX. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I think the bore is gonna be good. Obviously it's gonna need to be homed regardless. I think the head's gonna be a little bit scuffed. I think the piston's majority of it's gonna be one piece. It's not gonna be a thousand pieces and I think there's nothing in the cats. I think we just gotta get this done. Yeah. How you guys doing down there? Hold it. Oh, okay, yeah, keep going. We're okay. It's definitely separating. Oh, it no. is. We're good. We're on the rack still. There's enough weight on it. Okay, so now. Lift. Slow. Like a bro. And stop. Again? Again? I think we're good. I think so too. I see no resistance either. Sandy was pretty, uh, pretty confident in this uh, work you guys have done here. Okay, up. Again? Again? Hold it. Looking pretty good. Yeah, it is. Keep going. Keep going. It looks pretty badass with that turbo kit on it, though. I'll give you that. I hear something. Oh, it's water over here dripping. Oh, okay. Nice work, team. That's one behemoth thing. There's a lot of stuff going on right there. Yeah, right? This thing is massive. You guys sure you know what you're doing here? All right, we have the LT2 out of the 2020 C8 Corvette. This thing, I, Sean said a behemoth, that explains it the best. <laughs> this thing is a monster. This thing is massive. So now what? Now I guess, uh. Tear into it? Yeah, let's take the exhaust off and pull the head off. We got the valve covers off. Just taking a look at here, the oil is so dirty. We maybe put 100 miles on her in Texas and I just did the oil change before I headed out there too. Definitely a little dirty. I am curious to see. Cats look clean. Is there anything news? No. Nope. <laughs> All right, my guys, we're almost here to pull the head off, but oil, definitely dirty. I don't see any metallic shavings. And there's nothing in the cats. There's no marks or anything in the exhaust ports. All right, well, let's keep working. Let's get these heads off. Now that we've taken this off, I want to do something on the valve covers. I'm thinking like racing flames, like the OG ones, like comment below you guys. So there's an Allen head bolt in place of one of the regular standard head bolts. That's interesting. Did the other side have it? Oh, I don't see it on the other side. Oh yeah, there's nothing over here. There it is. Oh, these are pretty light. <laughs> Oh, come on, water. Wait, you're f***ing kidding me. There's no busted, it's not broken. The f*** was the noise then. What was any of it? There's no witness marks nowhere. But we saw it on the camera, something was reflecting back at us. And oh it... yeah. Undoubtedly, it looked like it had a broken f***ing piston, 100%. So it could be a rod. It could be a rod. Well, that's good news. Kind of, but what's the f***ing noise? So yeah. no, that's bad news. So as Sandy calls it, we're gonna continue to do some exploratory research. Maybe some of you guys saw it too on that borescope. It looked like we'd cracked a piston. Yep. Where's yep. it coming from? The transmission. The crunch. Is it? Right there. There, that, that's don't. it. Yeah. Sandy, you're right, it's definitely deeper. It sounds like it's in here, though. It's in the 
the bell housing. Like I said, you guys, we're planning on building this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the million dollar question, guys. If we looked in with a borescope, we didn't see anything, what we believe to be wrong with the piston, we still heard that noise that got faster with rotation, with RPM. Would we have pulled the motor anyways? Oh yeah. On the plus side, we wouldn't pull the motor because I blew it. <laughs> yeah, and hey, that means the rebuild might be faster too, because it's no longer a rebuild, it's just a build. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this was just meant to happen, so I built my engine sooner. Yeah. Yeah. We're on to something. We have an idea. Sandy's pulling off the other head right now. Are we ready? I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. I was it's, born it's ready. freaking cast iron. It's so heavy. <laughs> it's gonna make a mess. They call me messy. Oh, this looks okay. The parts are good! Well, we found out what happened. Take a look at this. We believe we have bent more than one rod. Look at how level this piston is to the deck lid right there. And Sandy's gonna turn it. Oh yeah. Now like, you can get, that's like super not level. You guys can see the shadow going around. It's like that on these two. It's like that on these, well, mainly one. That one, this one. So cylinder three, cylinder eight. And we haven't tested all of them, but we've been some rods, boys. We already have plans of what we're gonna be doing for the build that I will share with you guys in detail next episode. When we tear apart the bottom end, we're gonna pull out the rods and physically see exactly how bent they actually are. If they're bent, if they're twisted, whatever the case is. In all fairness, I don't think we would have pushed it to the extent that we did push it if we didn't already have plans of what we were going to do next. And don't think that this is a glass engine either. It held up pretty well to some very very high horsepower numbers and a lot of torque. So super happy, ready to build it. All right, thank you so much for watching E-Crew. We out here with love. Bye. <laughs> Okay guys, stay tuned for the next episode where we tear apart the bottom end and really get a good look and find out where that noise is really coming from. And if you haven't caught the merch already, withlipsupply.com. We got keychains, sick t-shirts, and we also got the hoodies. I love this so much. I made an official Instagram page for the merchandising as well where I'm gonna do my best to help spread positive messages and I'll be sharing where the donations and whatnot will be going towards and hopefully we can open up the conversation of mental health. It's something that I feel so many people are faced with and challenged with. So I hope to do more with it. Please go and follow the With Love Instagram account. <laughs> yeah. Are you crossing your toes too? Yeah. Sandy. What? I need you to cross your butt cheeks.